Hey guys, welcome to my six part, the fifth video of my six part video series, how to apply for VA disability benefits. In this video, I'm going to discuss a little bit about what happens after you submit that application. Well, first is going to be a period of silence. And then you'll get a letter from the VA saying, hey, thanks for submitting an application. We're working on your claim. They're also going to send you a letter asking you for more records. But you may go, Andy, I submitted all the records I possibly could think of. Yeah, they stand out this letter standard. If you have more records, if you found more medical records from your current doctor or what have you, go ahead and submit those. Um, but again, that, record's gonna, that letter's going to come either way. The next thing that's going to likely going to happen is you're going to get a notified of a claim and pension exam. This claim and pension exam serves two purposes. If it's not a presumptive condition, they're going to want to determine if there's a nexus between your current condition and your service connected and your rather your in-service event or condition, right? So again, they're trying to bridge that gap. Is the reason your knee hurts today because you hurt your knee back in the service or is it for something else? Is the reason you have sleep apnea because of something that happened in your service or is it something else? Now, this is where the statement in support of claim can actually really be helpful. That lay statement I talked about, you want to submit, create a record, right? If your knee has been bothering you ever since you tweaked it that time, you know, doing a ruck march or your feet have been bothering you ever time, every, ever since you were aboard uh, that ship in the Navy and, and they've been aching ever since and now you have horribly flat feet, write that down in a letter saying, my feet have bothered me. But also don't stop there. What have you done to treat this condition? Has your knee been hurting you ever since and you've just been icing it? Have you just you know taken ibuprofen and icing it and now it hurts too much to walk? Write that out and get into detail as to what you've been doing over all those years to treat your knee. Again, it's got to be the truth. Do not lie. I should have said that earlier. Do not lie, right? But when the CMP exam comes, you'll be seen by a doctor who will, or a medical provider who will try to determine, is it service-connected? And also, how severe is this condition? And that'll help the VA assign a specific rating. The VA may send you to multiple exams on multiple days. They may send you two exams all over again because the VA has a history of making mistakes on these exams and having to redo them. When that's all said and done, you'll wait some more as your claim goes through the waiting for the decision process. And eventually a decision will get issued. And in the next video, I'll talk about how to read that rating decision. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching. Take care.